So if you were to build an AI workforce, this paper, Mind Agent, Emergent Gaming Interaction might really help you. This is a paper from UCLA, Microsoft, Xbox team. So primarily Microsoft and a bunch of other universities. What they have done is they have done a multiple things. They have first one created a new benchmark to evaluate these AI agents. Like if you have to use large language models in an AI agent setup, how do these large language models fare? For that, they created a new benchmark, including they created a new metric called COS, collaboration score. Other than that, they also created like an infrastructure that is kind of, you know, the place like where you can have like an AI workforce, a completely AI driven workforce where humans and AI can interact as well. While this has been primarily done with gaming as a thing in mind, like for example, making humans interact with NPCs, making NPCs interact with other NPCs, but this is a really good opportunity and approach for us to take it to every other context. So in this paper, we're going to dive deeper into understanding what the benchmark is. How do these models fare? For example, GPT-4 versus Claude versus Llama 2. And we are also going to learn a few other things that they have mentioned in this paper. So as a disclaimer, this paper does not come with a code. So there is a project page here. You can go read about everything there but it does not come with a code, but you can see a couple of demos here. So to start with, I'll quickly show you a demo. So let's say you're playing Minecraft and you are the human that is there and you are going to tell this AI workforce that you have created, say that you want to cook something. So for example, you can say, I'm hungry for some food. I'm hungry for some food. And then you're going to say, I want, like, let's cook some chicken and mutton. So let's cook some chicken and mutton. I'll get the oak logs. Okay. So at this point, the AI agent understands or the NPC in this case is an AI agent understand that we need to cook food. Somebody is making chicken. Somebody is getting the logs. And you, as you can see, everybody is collaboratively working together to make sure that we get the final end result done. And that is exactly what mind agent is trying to do because mind agent is trying to make all the AI agents the work together. To okay. Let me stop the video. Go back to this. So what mind agent is trying to do is mind agent is this one thing like the entire system. So that is trying to make humans, NPCs and other NPCs collaborate together. So you have got like a multi agent offline world. You've got like a physical world. You've got like a human players and multiple NPCs that are online. And you can enable this for VR, AR, like gaming, like Minecraft. So what is the infrastructure here? You've got a bunch of large language models working together for a common goal. And the fictional world that they have created here is called a cuisine world. So before we jump into the cuisine world and understand the primary reason that they created this entire thing is primarily because while large language models are really good at creating text or finishing up certain tasks, there is not a proper gaming framework or a framework or a benchmark that can evaluate these large language models in a multi-agent collaborative infrastructure. So what they did is they created this mind agent to evaluate, to evaluate the planning and coordination capabilities of gaming interaction. The mind agent infra leverages the existing gaming framework for these three. Require the understanding of coordinator for multi-agent system. The second is quad collaborate with human players via unfine tuned proper instructions, establish an in context learning on a few short prompt with feedback. And because of all these reasons, they created something called a cuisine world, a new gaming scenario and a related benchmark that dispatch a multi agent collaborative efficiency and supervise multi agents playing the game simultaneously. As you saw in the video, all the player had to say was like, okay, I'm hungry. Let's make some chicken and um, let's get the logs oak logs and the agents got dispatched by this mind agent and they started working together collaboratively to finish certain things so what they are trying to ultimately do here is that these agents so these agents they have to work together collaboratively to deliver food for the humans like uh, ultimately so in a word cuisine world is a game that emulates a virtual kitchen where several robots are commanded to use various cooking tools and ingredients to prepare as many dish orders as possible in a limited amount of time, limited period of time. 
imagine like i don't know how many of you have played like the kitchen games that you usually get on android smartphones so you will get order you have to find the ingredients cook it deliver it to the customer like typical restaurant so what they're trying to do here is that instead of having a typical like humans doing those things they are making them making large language models or ais being agents to do it to facilitate collaboration new orders will keep flooding in while the existing ones should be completed before expiration therefore llms need to properly coordinate these robots to maximize overall productivity imagine like you want to make chicken biryani i mean chicken biryani is not part of this example i'm just giving an example if all the four agents that you have got are going to just get the chicken that is not efficient so probably what you can do is you can have one agent go get the chicken the second agent go slice onions the third agent maybe boil rice so now this is going to lead to a overall productivity or like maximize efficiency and productivity and that is what they want to evaluate here and that is why they've created that new benchmark and the new metric the call cos so cuisine world also offers game levels with a wide range of planning difficulty dishes with different complexity number of ingredients tools involved number of agents order frequency lifetime making it an ideal test bed for large language based large language model based multi agent planning ultimately you're going to have multi agent planning or workforce where you're going to use this as a test bed for them to evaluate so even though this is particularly done for the a uh, gaming scenario i would strongly encourage you to look beyond that and then see how you can adapt this for your own context or your own workforce so to implement cuisine world what they did is they followed a game uh, kind of you know aspired from the game called overcooked it's a very famous video game they saying never played it so based on this game they have got like the game mechanisms and they have got agents with access to locations and you have got you know certain numbers around like how many dishes are there how many locations are there and what kind of items are there and if you actually see the evaluation metric the evaluation metric that they are using is something called cos collaboration score so they, what they are trying to do here is they are trying to evaluate the extent to which the extent the dispatcher played by an llm can coordinate multiple agents into completing dish orders across different scenarios so what is it trying to do it is trying to see how much the dispatcher or the coordinator the main llm can coordinate with multiple agents in completing the dish order so if there is one dish order how much how many times it can successfully complete even if you see the infrastructure it is quite brilliant and amazing you have got the human player who can order certain things to the agents or the npcs here and you have got the domain specific language that validates it and you've got just like gpt4 in the middle that has got like the recipes the instructions the inference knowledge the one shot demo and all these things and you've got like a memory module which has got all the information about the state the environment the memory the history and all those things and the main one here is the dispatcher that is again the gpt4 llm which is uh, which controls the agent state the environment state the feedback and all these things so this is how the interaction happens and if you see the metrics uh, if you see the benchmarks it's quite surprising how much knowledge that or how much gpt4 is advanced than anything else that is available so if you see this table very quickly like for example you would see that gpt4 is scoring really good but until you put gpt4 against any other existing agent you may not feel how good or how great gpt4 is for that i would like to show you the comparison between gpt4 claude to llama chat gpt to my very big surprise llama it's not llama to i guess it's llama so llama and chat gpt did zero zero orders they did not manage to complete any orders so they got zero collaborative score but on the other hand gpt4 is way 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 ahead of even claude 2 so claude 2 has got a score of 0.3 while gpt4 has more than double of claude 2 with 0.6 and this further improves like if you see the delta between gpt4 and claude to improves when you have more agents like for example two agents uh, three agents and four agents even with four agents llama 2 and chat gpt did not manage to do anything and while you prompt gpt4 with few short or inference knowledge or feedback now that further ch changes and gpt4 still manages to perform really good job so the bottom line here is that whatever benchmarks that you have been seeing around let's say hello swag or um, gsm uh, 8k while gpt4 and large language models are really good at those things i think this approach especially this mind agent and cos the collaboration score as a metric 
does a really good job in introducing a new concept about measuring these LLMs as a dispatcher or as an agent who manages an AI workforce, which is going to be quite important to be honest in the future. If you have, have got like industries, if you have got companies being run by AI agents, I think this is going to be extremely helpful. And that is where the mind agent architecture where, you know, you're going to have this uh, AI agent do certain things or instruct other agents to do get a common goal, especially in a competitive environment where you have got customer orders and coming back is very important. I really, I really enjoyed this paper to be honest, it has gone into multiple details. The only bummer is that we don't have the code at this point for us to try, but uh, the demo is quite sick and I would strongly encourage you to read this paper. I will link all the details in the YouTube description for you to check it out. If you have any questions, also let me know your thoughts about it. It's mind blowing to be honest, like you have AI workforce being managed or managing AI work, uh, AI agents. It's quite brilliant. Um, see you in another video. Happy prompting.